develop the central part to be mountainous and the southern coast to be the unspoiled spot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's that? Ah, I don't know. 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 I will be with you for this too. I'm not alone though. Here is also a driver with us taking care of us. His name is Chronis. Chronis. Kalimera Chroni. Kalimera. Thanks. Chronis and Thalia. And Chronis is driving by the seafront of Heraklion for you to have the chance also to see the traditional port of Heraklion. Later we will come downtown. Because now we will drive a quick circle, you will have the chance to see the traditional port and then we will go to visit the archaeological site of Knossos. So, we are approaching this port and to the left you see this stone construction with the arches. These are places for the boats during winter or for any, any repair work. And just right here to the right, you see the traditional port of Heraklion and you see also a castle uh, the castle that you see here to the right is a Venetian construction Venice there was a time in our history that Venice occupied Crete and this is a construction of the 16th century AD uh, the Venetians call this castle Rocca, bless you Rocca al mare which means the rock in the sea you see why they called it like that eh? It's a castle in the sea, Rocca al Mare. And just right here to the right, you see a pedestrian street. Just right here, a pedestrian street. This pedestrian street straight ahead leads to the very center of Heraklion city. The heart of Heraklion is on the inner part of the center, and not by the city, but on the inner part. So, our plan for today is we will need 10-15 minutes, the most of driving time, until we approach the archaeological site of Knossos. Once we will exit Heraklion, we will be there, in the archaeological site of Knossos. So that will be in 10 minutes, 15 the most. The archaeological site of Knossos is among the most important archaeological sites. N not only of Crete, or of Greece. Uh, Knossos is among the most important archaeological sites of Europe, and I'm mentioning so, because Knossos is the most important center, was the most important center of the first advanced civilization of Europe. But you will have time for that, you will understand through the guiding tour how important the archaeological site of Knossos is. So our first visit will be there. Hmm? We will stay for more or less hmm, two hours, a bit less than two hours in the archaeological site of Knossos, and then we will come downtown. Uh, in the center of Heraklion, uh, you will have a bit of free time before we return back to the port. This is our plan for today. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. So to the right here you see, you see part of the fortification wall. Again Venetian construction, again from the 16th century. Uh, part of this fortification wall, same as the castle, 16th century AD, Venetian. This wall is 4 kilometers long with 7 bastions. Uh, to the right you see the continuation of the fortification wall in the distance also, you see that? This wall surrounds nowadays only the center of the capital here, but back then when this wall was uh, constructed, of course it surrounded the whole of the capital. Heraklion nowadays has a population of 200,000 people, whereas the total population of Crete is 600,000 people. Almost one-third of the total population of Crete is living here in the capital. This is the economic center of the island. So, uh, the center is there, but we are going now to Knossos, the archaeological site, so let me sit properly here in front. Uh, let me take advantage now of the rest of the driving time to mention a few basic things about the archaeological site, the Palace of Knossos. Uh, first of all, you see where nowadays the capital of the island is. It used to be also the prehistoric center of the island, because Knossos was the prehistoric center of Crete. Uh, Knossos 
is not, first of all, it's, Knossos is not the only palace, the only prehistoric palace that we have on this island. So far, four palaces have been excavated, four prehistoric palaces, but most of the tours include the palace of Knossos, because Knossos is the largest palace and the most glorious one, the most luxurious one. So, uh, this is also the reason for uh, the archaeologists, the scholars, to, to know, uh, to believe that the most important center of the Minoan civilization was Knossos. Minoan, the Minoan civilization, the name is given to the civilization by the archaeologists. When they excavated the palaces and they were thinking of the name, their idea was to name the civilization after its legendary king. The legendary king of this island was Minos. King Minos, exactly. So they called the civilization Minoan. And we call these prehistoric people of this island Minoans, although we do not really know how these people called themselves back then. And you may have already heard of the legendary King Minos or you may have heard of some other mythological stories. You may have heard of a labyrinth, a complicated construction with many corridors and rooms that the labyrinth was. You may have heard of a monster that lived into the labyrinth, Minotaur, a monster that was half man and half bull, or Minotaur in a more Greek accent. Or you may have heard of the two men that